Hi everyone, on this video we're going to go through downloading and installing SQL Server onto your local machine. So first up here we're on the Microsoft website. I will provide a link here into the description so obviously you can follow along as well. And the one we are focused on here is the developer version. There's a couple benefits to this one. Specifically it's going to offer all of the, the different features that a normal enterprise version of SQL Server would have, but it's free. And the reason it's free is because it's under the understanding that it's going to be used in a non-production environment, meaning any real database with real data that you're going to use for a company or an application, you can't use developer. It's specifically for, for testing and for training, learning, playing around, and for demos such as this. So uh, for here, what we're going to do is click download now, save the file and go to our downloads. And from here we can run this installer. Now when we get here, what we're going to select is custom because we, there's going to be a few features that we're going to make sure specifically that we choose to install. You can keep this as the default. This is just where the files are going to go during the installation. Okay, so now we're at the installation center and obviously there's a lot going on here, but what we specifically want to look at is this second tab, installation and new SQL Server standalone installation. And this is going to bring up a window that's going to get us really to the heart of configuring this setup and, and getting going with this installation. So first up, we need to specify which edition we're using. And as we mentioned before, we're going developer. So go ahead and click that next. License terms and skim through this, read it thoroughly if you'd like and accept. This is just a prompt to you ask you if do you want Microsoft to give you auto updates? You can check it if you'd like. I'm going to not check that and click next. All right, so so far so good. But we don't want any errors here. This warning is okay for now, but as long as there's no errors, we can move forward. So next. And here is the feature selection. So this is the specific part I mentioned where we want to make sure we get and we select exactly what we want with this installation. So there's going to be three different things we select. First up, database engine services. This is going to be the core fundamental of SQL Server where we're going to be able to have the ability to make tables, write queries, all that good stuff. So have this one selected. Second, analysis services. This will be used when we get into different types of data mining and modeling. We'll be able to make a tabular cube a little bit later on. So we'll need that service as well. And last, integration services. This will, this will be for when we start to get into moving data around and, and different types of integration packages and you know stuff like that. So again, a little bit later on, but make sure we select that. So again, the three database engine services, analysis and integration next here is where we're going to give a name to this instance and by instance i mean this particular installation of sql server with all these settings that we're doing and initially it's going to give you the default but we're going to give it a name and the reason you'd want to give it a name is let's say you have multiple installations, multiple instances on one machine. You want to be able to distinguish between those. So by giving them a name, you know, you're tying with that name all of those different features that you put together. So in this case, we'll call it demo. So what that means is from here on out, anytime we refer to this particular instance, it's going to be called demo. And we'll see that later on. Next. Okay, service accounts. We're not going to get too far into this, but the one change 
I'll suggest we make here is for the SQL Server agent, we'll flip this to automatic as well. And what this is, this is focusing more on when we get into SQL Server jobs and having automated procedures and scheduled events and such. That's where we're going to want the SQL Server agent to come into play. And so in this case, we want that to start up automatically so we don't have to worry about kicking that off. Okay, next. All right, now we're getting into the authentication and the administrators for the database. So we will select Windows Authentication Mode. And down here, we need to specify which of the users on the computer are you going to allow to give unrestricted access to this database. Full rights to do whatever they want. And I'm assuming this is, you know, this is an install on your machine for you, for your testing purposes. So you would want to be that administrator. So you can click this right here and click add current user and it'll find you and, and add you. That's me. Next. Now we're getting into the analysis services. So Microsoft offers a couple different ways of going about the analysis services. One of the more popular ones in the original one is multidimensional. Uh, we are going to focus on tabular. And again, this is for later on when we get into building a tabular cube, we're going to want this mode available. So we'll go ahead and click this. And again, which user do you want to be the administer for this one? And we will select the current user ourselves. Moving along next. Now we are at the summary. So the hard part is done here. We've selected all the features we want. We've put together all the, all the criteria. Again, make sure database analysis integration. Make sure you are the administrator. You see this is referred to as demo across the board or whatever if you happen to name it something else, but for our case, demo. And then we're ready to roll, so install. And I will pause the video while this goes because it might take a few minutes. Okay, so at this point, the installation has completed. It looks like everything is successful, no issues here. And that means at this point, SQL Server is officially installed on the machine and we are good to move forward. One thing I want to point out here, if you look at your recently added, there'll be a couple different new items here, just showing different parts of SQL Server that are actively installed here. So in the next video, we'll move forward to install some of the other tools on top of SQL Server now that the core elements are there. And first up, we will look at SQL Server Management Studio, which will allow us to start to interact with the database itself, start to make tables, procedures, stuff like that. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you at the next video.